Hey guys, this is um, the Disney Reviewer 2020 here, and today, guess what guys, today I'm going to be doing my top 5 best movies of 2020. Even though I already done my top 5 worst movies of 2020, even though 2020 has been a terrible year, I really hope 2021 can be at least better, fingers crossed, so yeah, and also yeah, these are the movies that are fantastic and deserve to be remembered, and also they're also a masterpiece as well. So yeah, so let's get started, guys. Before I start this video, I have a few honorable mentions, and they are *The Croods of New Age* and also oh, *Phineas and Ferb: Candace Against the Universe*. These movies are are great, it, it but didn't make my list. So yeah, so. Let's get started. Number five. Number five, I have Ma Raimi's Rock Bottom. I have to say this. Rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. This is definitely a phenomenal film. Like, even the movie's so heartfelt as well. So, yeah. I was actually kind of looking forward to this movie because it looked pretty interesting. And yeah, and also Charles Boseman was in it, even though he died this year. And also the cinematography in this movie is phenomenal. The acting in this movie is great. And also, yeah, everything about this movie was great. Yeah, this is definitely a phenomenal film. I highly recommend you should check it out. So yeah, so yeah, even though it's on Netflix. So yeah, so let's move on. Number four. Number four, I have safety. I have to say this. This was such a heartfelt and emotional movie. Like, yeah. Even though I'm not a big fan of football, but I have to say this is just a phenomenal film that I highly recommend. You should check out on Disney+. Plus. I watched it on Disney+, Plus two weeks ago, and I have to say it was a phenomenal movie that I highly recommend you should check out on Disney Plus. So yeah, this is definitely one of the best sports movies in my opinion. So yeah, this is definitely such a really phenomenal and heartfelt movie. Which I, maybe I might review this movie on my channel one day. So yeah, yeah, I highly recommend this movie. So yeah, so let's move on. Number three. Number three, I have Wolf Walkers. You know what? We had another. We had a fantastic hand drawn movie last year called Klaus, and then the following year, two thousand twenty, we got another fantastic hand drawn animated film with Wolf Walkers. I have to say, I checked this movie out on Apple TV Plus. Us and I have to say, it was a fantastic hand drawn. It was actually a fantastic hand drawn animated movie. The voice acting in this movie is phenomenal. The animation is just drop dead gorgeous, and this movie is very mature and very dark. And also, yeah, and yeah, I definitely I think Ryan Ross Dragons definitely gonna have that same tone. I think so. So yeah, which is definitely my most anticipated movie of all time. So yeah, this is a movie that I highly recommend you should see. I mean, this movie was definitely phenomenal. It was so emotional as well. So yeah. And the voice acting in this movie is phenomenal. And the characters are, are, you know, are phenomenal. So, yeah. So, let's move on. Number two. Number two, in my personal opinion, is Over the Moon. I have to say this. I remember I used to give it, like, a, a an 8 out of 10 back in my original review. But I take it back. I now give it a 10 out of 10. Even though the story we see it sometimes is pretty clever and pretty unique, and also, um, and also the um, the the um, relation, and also um, and also the characters in this movie are very memorable and very likable. Well, and also, yeah, and even the songs in this um, movie are absolutely phenomenal. And also, yeah, and also this is. Considering that this is Glenn Keane, the animation in this movie looks so incredible and so drop-dead gorgeous. Yeah, I thought this was even better than Abominable last year, which, don't be wrong, I liked Abominable, but I liked this even more. And also, yeah, 
this is a musical and definitely my favorite song in this movie is ultra luminaria that that was the best song in this movie definitely it's such an awesome character to, character introduction to um changa definitely the best character introduction since you're welcome for moana so yeah this is definitely going to be this is definitely in my opinion the best netflix movie of 2020 so yeah so let's move on number one my favorite movie of 2020 is dun, 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 dun. it's soul i have to say this now has surpassed inside out as my favorite pete doctor movie i have to say this is now my favorite animated movie of 2020 and this is my um favorite movie of 2020 in general i have to say the animation was so drop dead gorgeous and definitely the best looking animation of 2020 like i mean the pete doctor's design i mean the character designs this movie look fantastic like yeah joe gardner was a great character mr mittens is now is just so adorable like yeah definitely on par with um boo from monsters incorporated um doug from up and um dante from coco as the mo one of the most adorable and one of the most cutest pixar characters ever and also 22 is definitely my favorite character she's adorable as well and she's also a cutie as well she's actually voiced by tina fey and also yeah and even the song and it's all right right i have to say i loved that song definitely um definitely the the sunflower from spider-man into the spider-verse of 2020 i have to say i did watch this movie on disney plus today and i have to say it was a phenomenal movie that i highly recommend you should check out on disney plus if you have it so yeah and also, um, this is definitely, yeah, uh, uh, another masterpiece and classic for Pixar. But wait until what Walt Disney Animation Studios has coming in March 2021 with Raya and the Last Dragon. Oh my god, yeah, I definitely think it's going to be, I, I'm not going to lie, I can't guarantee you, it's definitely going to be the best animated movie of 2021 so yeah and yeah and i really hope soul wins best anime feature at the 2021 oscars and on um, the academy i'm watching you i'm watching you i'm keeping an eye out you better give um soul you better um give um soul oh, to win best anime feature please okay okay and I have to say, this is definitely my favorite movie of 2020. And yeah, even though 2020 has been a terrible year, it was horrible because of the pandemic. Hopefully it'll end next year with the vaccine. So yeah, sometime next year. So yeah, and I definitely, well, I'm happy Pixar's next film is going to be released in theaters of Luca, which yeah. And also, um, this is, this is definitely my favorite movie. So yeah, definitely um Soul is definitely my favorite movie of 2020. So yeah, guys, what are your top five mo what are, what are your top five favorite movies of 2020? So yeah, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel, and make sure to like this video. So yeah. So I'll see you guys later and bye.